Hi, this is Mark with rawnutrition.com. Uh, in this video, I'll be making a smoothie with the brand new Huron Elite Slow Juicer, the model SBB11. So this is a brand new juicer that uh, turns at 43 revolutions per minute. Um, this slow juicer includes a smoothie screen. So I'll go ahead and change that from the regular fine screen. And I'll install the smoothie screen. You can check my other videos uh, with this juicer where I go and review all the parts and I've also done some juicing videos with it. Uh, this particular one will be doing a smoothie. I've got a smoothie recipe uh, from the book. This book here is included with the Hirami Leaf juicer. It's got a numerous recipe. So I'm doing the ginger smoothie with one variation. I'm adding some greens. So I've installed my cleaning brush around the smoothie screen. Simply place that inside with your auger. And lock all that up. Now this juicer, uh, the previous model had like an open close. Uh, with this model, you really have a juicing position, which is also the same as the smoothie position. You would use this position here, which is the half open, if you want to rinse your juicer in between uh, juicing. So if you juice something or made a smoothie and you want to uh, clean it out, flush it out with water, you would set it in that position, close the cap, run it, drain it, and then that will help uh, push out any remaining pulp inside. But for juicing and for smoothie making with this model, you just set it in the uh, full closed position in the sense that there's the most pressure on the outlet. Uh, where the pulp will go through to keep the most pulp in. This uh, recipe does ask us to juice first before putting the, the banana. You would put the banana in last. So we're going to process keeping our juice cap closed so everything gets mixed inside. And I'll just get started, see how it goes. It's my first experience. I like to do these, uh, how can I say, the first time while I'm doing this video. So then I You'll learn as I learn. I just got a little juice spit up. So I can juice my greens and fruit. I've got also here uh, ginger, excuse me. <laughs> and it's been peeled. This is what I want to say. It's been peeled uh, as requested in the recipe. So I can alternate between my peeled oranges. I've got some small clementines too that I put together. alternate between the two and I should finish with the banana. So most times you really won't have to push in. You just drop everything in and the auger will take it up. This uh, new model has a dual blade so that does reduce a little bit uh, with, uh, the uptake of the fruits and vegetables but if you don't overfeed just simply drop and let it process. It will uh, do that. I do notice a few squirts coming out doing the oranges so I can probably keep my hand or you can put your pusher but it's not really a problem so we are starting to get some pulp coming out we're getting a nice green mixture and always important with the slow juicer to put things in slowly to give it a chance to process not overfeed will prevent having a stop the juicer. Sometimes when I'm doing these videos I'm talking and not paying as much attention as to what I'm putting in and I will when I get the juicer to stop. Bananas aren't very hard so it's really just to thicken up our mixture and you're starting to see the bananas coming through. You'll want to let the juicer turn to mix that up very well. And I did mention to slice the bananas, and I've done that. And to also pre-cool them, so your smoothie, all these ingredients were cold out of the refrigerator. And there you have it. So I've got all the ingredients in. And I'm sure the best thing would be to let it run a little bit to blend that as much as possible. You'll want the banana to make its way fully through your screen. Okay. 
and with the cap closed, everything is staying inside and getting mixed thoroughly. I'm just looking inside, making sure everything has been processed. I could stop, take a peek. Well, I don't see any more banana or anything on the in, on the inside part of the screen and all. So I'll let it turn a few more turns, make sure we have a good mix. I imagine you could also reverse to mix really good. Make sure to forward again so that everything gets pushed out because when you reverse, things will automatically get sucked back inside. And there you have it. We have my first green smoothie with the Huron Elite Slow Juicer. We'll let that pour out. And I'll get a glass and give that smoothie a try. So I see I do have to tip the juicer forward to get it all out. And I imagine if I actually let it run, there, that'll be <laughs> way better. Let it run, I'll get all the juice out. There. Okay, so I'll just close the cap and give this a try. It looks really nice and this should be very good. I love the greens with the citrus fruit. If you have trouble drinking lots of greens, uh, mix them with a bit of orange, really makes it nice, and ginger too. So let's give this a try. Mm. That is delicious. Excellent. Again, this is Mark with Raw Nutrition. Be sure to subscribe to our videos here on YouTube. I keep doing some demonstrations and uh, feel free to leave your comments below and have some dialogue at what we'd like to see me test out. And be sure to check us out online at rawnutrition.com.